Hello, my name is Carson Gilbert. I'm from Royal City, Washington. As I was studying in 2 Nephi chapter 15 this week, these words stood out to me. Woe unto them that say, let him make speed, hasten his work, that we may see it. I am accustomed to things being automatic, and if something takes too long to load, I become frustrated. How can I slow down my temporal eyes to see God and Jesus' work more deeply as they truly are? I really feel like starting the day in prayer, in my scriptures, allows me then to focus the whole day in that same perspective. And then I can look for God in everything throughout the day. And I think that's a wonderful idea. How do I slow down my temporal perspective mm -hmm. in order to focus on Christ? To me, it's our baptismal covenant. It's our sacramental covenant. You know, it's the idea of he is the most important one that we're working for. I'm on his team mm -hmm. and I want to keep myself focused on him. Yeah. Mike. That's beautiful. I love that. I've struggled a lot of my life with self-criticism. I may, maybe I'm the only one, but... <laughs> It, it is very easy yeah. to, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it is easy to give other people a break to, to see the innocence in their actions, but sometimes I'm critical of my own. And for me, at least as I study Isaiah, I see the Lord being so patient with Israel. He's slow with Israel because, because he repeats over and over, almost every chapter, some message of hope, of it's okay, we're going to get through this. We're going to overcome together. That's helped me to see this merciful God speaking in Isaiah. I feel like I can give myself more grace, honestly, because of Isaiah's words, because of the hope that's there.